Well, good afternoon. Um, firstly, I'm going to apologise for the darkness, but I'm in the bivvy. It's, um, it is absolutely horrible out there. There's really strong winds and it's raining. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, yeah, literally got the bivvy up and I've pub chucked three solid bags. That's it. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't found no spots. Um, spoke to the bloke at the tackle shop and he said that there's hardly any weed in here and a lot of the fish being caught at the minute have just been come into singles or solid bags. So uh, three solid bags tied, eight they went, couldn't feel for a drop or nothing because the wind is so hard. So um, yeah, just pub chucked them for now. Um, the wind is supposed to die down later so if the rain stops and the wind dies down we might get out there and have a little little look about but um yeah all that being said we are at a burners hall fishery in essex um <clears throat> and we are with the alpha leds gang uh, a bit of a social going on um elton the uh, the media manager for alpha leds has been organizing this for months and months and it's finally come around so uh it's been a long drive to get here, two and a half, nearly three hours to get here, but we're here, we've got some rigs in the water, so uh, we've got a chance of a bite. Um, <clears throat> spoke to the bloke at Tackle Shop again, and he said they follow the wind in here. So I'm in peg 18, and the wind is driving in between me and peg 19, right in the corner. What I'll do is I'll put a little map up, um, right there somewhere, of where I'm fishing. Um, yeah, so um, it's looking really good for a bite, strong winds, a um, little bit of rain but not too bad, but um, yeah, it looks really good. So uh, yeah, Alpha Lead So Short, Burners Hall, so hopefully I can pick up a couple of fish for the camera or something for you, and uh, get back to filming some, uh, some videos. But for now, I'm going to uh, add myself a nice hot cup of coffee. Obviously got to have an alpha leds cup. Ah, nice hot cup of coffee and uh, hopefully wait for this wind to die down a bit. But for now, I'll see you in a bit. Just for you, Jack. Ta da Well, good morning. We managed to sneak one. It's not a monster, about 15 or 16 pound. But maybe 17 at a push but um what a scaly banger I'll get him up for you and show you cool. what a beauty oh. well check that out like I said not a monster but it doesn't really matter when they look like this does it 17 pound roughly caught on a pub chuck solid bag with a uh, peach pineapple and embuteric acid pop up a little 12 mil from CR Bates and obviously the solid bag mix from CR Bates as well just uh, doing the do for me in this one alpha leads uh, inline drop off uh, two and a, uh, two ounce I think it is I can't, can't not too sure can't remember if it's two ounce or three ounce but yeah proper doing the business oh i'm buzzing first fish of the year first outing of the year as well so you can't really moan at that but we'll get it back get some steals first and get it back Ta -da. well good morning oh was a nice fish last night wasn't it not a monster but lovely scaly banger um yeah, done a recast this morning. Obviously, just pub chucking solid bags, so um, not fishing over bait. But the wind has died off a bit today, so we might be able to get a marker rod out, or I might just keep pub chucking solid bags about. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Um, Going to pop to the tackle shop later, have a look at bait with uh, with mate Callum. Um, <clears throat> Jack's been round as well, so. Fair play, he's giving me some pellets for my solid bags because I ran out, because I'm useless. But yeah, so the rods are back out. Uh, I've only recast two rods and I've put them both on yellow because obviously I had that bite on, uh, on the yellow pop-up last night, little 12 mil. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can get another bite. But um, yeah, 
it's, it's still quite blowy like you know what I mean but it's obviously uh, it's picked up in the last half hour so uh, it died off last night it was nice but um yeah still still quite confident for another bite but um yeah happy days it's not a blank is it so uh oh just want to say a big thank to uh, Loz East um he subscribed to my channel the other day um thanks for that mate um don't forget to go and check his new channel out um i'll put a um i'll put a link um somewhere i don't know where i'm going to put it but i'll put it somewhere um yeah fair play Loz started his own channel so happy days with that one um <clears throat> but yeah so uh like i said pop to tackle shop see what i can get um probably get some more micro pellets from my solid bags and uh, yeah probably give you an update a bit later on so uh, but for now i'll see you in a bit Just run you through uh, what I'm using. Um, the rig I actually, the, the bait I actually caught the fish on was a yellow pop up, but there is actually a wafter going in here. Maybe you can see that very well. Little almond special wafter, uh, just a little tiny rig. Um, I think that's a two ounce um, Alpha Leads uh, drop off inline, but it's got the long stem in there for solid bags. So uh, I don't need to drop the lead in here because there's no weed in here at all. So uh, yeah, run you through our entire solid bag quick. Um, these are the quarter solid bags, but I still use this load system just to keep the bag open. It's just easier for me. So uh, put a little bit at the bottom there, I don't know if you can see that. And hold the rig by the little tail. And I like mine so the hook is completely flat not like that though it takes a couple of attempts to get it right but there you go so have a quick look in there yeah the hook is completely flat on the pellet and the uh the waft is just there so <clears throat> get a scoop And I'm just going to cover that, just so it sort of locks it in then. I'm going to put a little bit more in. There we go. And we're just going to pat it down with a lead. And then, oh, get my hands out, the big fat hands out of the way. And then I'm going to hold the line with my fingers like that. And all that does, just keeps the lead central in the bag. So we'll just get him central. Just pinch it. There you go, the lead is central now to the bag. So, hold on. There you go, lead is central. So get some pellet in while it's central. There you go, so I filled up the bag. Take the locking collar off. If I can't. There you go. I have put a little bit much in there. So I'm just going to tip a little bit out. So we've got that much. Look. There you go, you've got that much there. So I'm going to pinch the bag now like that. And I'm going to start working the bag. So I'm going to start pushing. Tapping the bag both ends. Start pushing. Start waving it, look. 
gets all the contents all stacked up nice just gets a tighter solid bag so keep doing that keep tapping the bottom and the top tap it on the sides just do it however you want to do it but this is how I do it so keep doing it we want a nice tight compact bag very windy out here today so uh, I want this bag as tight as I can get it I use PVA tape for mine always have done always will do I prefer it rather than uh, uh, licking and sticking right twist the bag but I push down as well I push down and twist at the same time look push down and twist I'm gonna get my PVA tape hold it in my hand and I always run it around seven times don't ask me why but I run it down towards the bag so it makes the bag two three four oh five six seven gone around seven times wait a minute I'm just gonna tie it off Oh, this is a bit awkward this bit just tying it off but now I put three knots in mine yeah, don't ask me why but but always three knots in mine it's just something I've always done there you go look solid bag there like that that's nice so get my scissors trim off the tags of the PVA tape there you go so that's them trimmed off and then we're going to trim this top bit off here just to neaten it all off don't really have to but it just neatens it all off that little bit there you go there you go just trim it off nice obviously making sure you don't cut the PVA tape so there you go that's all nice so now I can work the corners so I just tap it give it a little push in just get that content in a little bit so I can lick and stick and I really pull oh really pull the bag these quarter bags are really good they are really strong so you can really give them a good tug so uh, without them breaking so just hold it for a little bit just give the top bit a lick and that stick right work this second corner now just check it all the while make sure everything's nice and streamlined Giving the sides a good tug like that. Look, I don't know if you can see that, but giving it a tug. Oh, that's it. Pull that really nice and tight. I just hold it down for five or six seconds. Just let it stick to itself. There you go. Make sure it sticks down. Oh. Now that is a solid bag. That is flying out there. It's nice and streamlined. All the corners tucked in nice as you can see. So yeah, that will fly out there. Happy days. Well, the pizza's here. Time for a bit of a munch. Fair play Jack, gonna get the pizza. I don't know if we've got enough between us all, though. Yeah, they got my one. Where's uh, where's the rest of them going? <laughs> Go on, son. Oh. I do. You got wraps around here. He's mason as fucking busy as, eh? I oh, really? Yeah. I'll take the whole one over there. Bosh! Well, that is.
it's all three rods out. Um, <clears throat> just getting dark now. I'm trying to hold my light and my camera because I couldn't be bothered to get my tripod out. Uh, yeah, so that's all three rods out for the last night. Uh, Got to be off by 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'll try and do a quick update before I pack up. So uh, hopefully I'll see you through the night with another fish. But wow, it looks good for it still. You know, still really strong winds coming down to me. So hopefully these fish really, uh, really follow this wind tonight. So anyway, I won't ramble on. I'll see you through the night or in the morning. Ta-da. Well, good morning. Um, very quiet night last night. Um, a bloody goose went for me right hand rod uh, just after dark. So uh, yeah, had to retie a solid bag and re-chuck it back out. So um, <clears throat> first light this morning, as soon as I could see, did a recast on that rod. Um, just try and get some extra scent in the water and make sure I knew where it was going. Even though it's pretty impossible to predict where it was going in this wind, this crosswind we got coming on. But um, yeah, I think there was only two fish caught this morning, nothing through the night, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> just going from the WhatsApp group. Yeah, very, very quiet. Um, but, you know, we've still got an hour and a half left. We've got to be off the lake by 10, so going to start the horrible task of packing up now. Um, no one likes to pack up, do they? But, um, you know, it's got to be done. So uh, we're going to get ourselves packed up and uh, get on the way. <clears throat> got a two and a half hour drive home. That's with no traffic. So, uh, yes, we will see. Um, I want to say a big thank you to Burners Hall Fishery for uh, allowing us to book a lake exclusive. Um, also a big thanks to Elton, um, the media man of uh, Alpha Leds for uh, organising all this. And obviously a big thanks to Jack, Jack Jenkins, um, the owner of Alpha Leds, for, uh, for getting us all together and, uh, and yeah, it's been nice, you know, met loads of new people on the team and uh, fished a venue that I've never fished before and we've managed to sneak the net under one, so uh, happy days. But yeah, <clears throat> time to pack up um, and time to get myself going home. But uh, mm, so a big thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoy it um, as much as I enjoy filming it. It's been a really good weekend, plenty of fish caught. So uh, yeah, and hopefully I'll see you on the bank soon. I haven't got any trips lined up yet, but um, I'm sure one will come along soon, so. Right, I'll stop waffling on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, as well, and hopefully stick a like on it for me. And uh, <clears throat> let me know what you think of it. Stick it in the comments, what, what you think of it, uh, what you think of my video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, so uh, a bit of a crap start to the year with COVID and all that sort of stuff. So uh, it's been a while, but... You know, we've had the first fish of the year, so we've got that part out of the way. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, I'll see you on the bank soon. And a massive thanks for watching. Tada. Mm -hmm.